so the next colors is going to be the, the yellow parts. Now, I did mention before that I was going to use the regular yellow or the metallic yellow or, or orange that was from the AK. But after carefully reviewing the parts that I have been painting to the colors that I was going to use, I thought it would be a little bit off. Clearly a matte yellow is not going to look great on this if I'm going to do it all metallic. Um, I might as well keep, keep, keep it consistent. So I, I said to myself, well, the only thing that's close enough for this would be gold. And I'm pulling out this mirror gold for Lexon that I, ha I used uh, before. I have a lot of this. I think I didn't, have, I didn't use a lot in the past. I thought I did when I built my um, solid gold um, um, Sazibi version Katoki. Which, of course, if I ever get my hands on one again, it's not going to be gold. I want to do something different in the future. Anyway, let's see how this looks. I could have done the mirror finish, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. That's nice. I like that tone. Make sure I grab the whole size, because that's going to be the one that's going to be in front of the Mazinger. Look at that. That's beautiful. I like that one. Let's do the little small one here, just to get that out of the way. Don't know what color that little bulb is. I gotta check on, check again on the manual if it's if it's the same color or a different color. I may end up doing a different color, I don't know yet. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, let's do this big ass wing. Now, I actually had to sand it down because uh, there was scarring and some um, those little bulbs. Uh, Sorry, the uh, thinner, pockets of thinner that was falling on it. So I had to sand it down to make it look good. I don't know how well it comes out, let's see. This type of thinner, I'm oh sorry, this type of paint does not require thinner. And I still, and I'm still at 10 PSI. So I actually raised it up a bit by, by a PSI, I think it's 12, but that should be fine. Maybe I should have put chrome under it to give it a little bit more, but it should be fine. I'm going to have to put that to the side here. Let's do one of these thrusters, of course. Look 
Later on, I have to mask this off because that is a different color. Maybe I'll hand paint it, not airbrush it. Maybe it does require an undercoat of uh, chrome, but I'm not going to sweat this. Of course, somebody's going to complain to me and says, no, you should. There's always a perfectionist out there. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Oh, just finished up. Alright, so I'll just... What I'll do is I'll let this dry, I'll do the other one, and then I'll just do a second pass, just to make sure that I cover this up completely. But yeah, Lexon Gold for, I'm sorry, Mirrored Gold for Lexon is doing pretty well. I could have, again, put a little bit of more, like, um, t um, chrome under it, but I'm not going to do that. Alright, let me finish this up, and we'll move on to the next color. Alright, so I'm only going to show these three parts that I'm going to paint. Um, I was thinking of that other color that I mentioned before, and I, I don't want it all to be consistent, but I wanted it to be a little bit off here and there, so I decided to use the metallic gray. I think this is far more comfortable, and it's, and it's not too crazy to use with this. Um, it'll definitely be offset. It won't match the, the metallic black that I just painted a few moments ago. But with this, we're going to do, you know, the standard paint. And you know what? I'm going to have to raise the PSI on this a bit. Very good coverage. So this is basically, you know, regular uh, paint. This has a hint of metallic on it, so it's not too obvious. I want to grab the area that is showing off the detail. Because I don't know how much it will show off when I put it together. This color has been my go-to for like inner frames. I could have used the gunmetal uh, from AK, but with how it comes up too shiny, unless I do a, a dark, a, um, more like a uh, you know dark priming, like I did with the other colors, it will. It comes out too light though. Thruster. That's good. I have a lot of paint here for this, and later on when the yellow parts starts to dry, I'll mask it off and maybe I'll, I'll spray paint the other part as well. But for now, let me just finish these, get this over with, and then we'll move on to the next color um, of this build. 
So, after carefully reviewing some of these parts, the one thing that I noticed that using um, using you know gunmetal from AK or chrome may look good with the primer that was on it, but not if it's not. But I, I didn't I didn't like how it came out the first try. I think the it needed a black base, so I did a black base on all of the chrome parts that make up the kit, you know, the, the parts of the head, the the uh, leg, the forearm, all that stuff. And I did the same procedure like I did with the blue, where I, I painted it using black primer and microfiller. I gave it, a, you know, the separation of thin, some thinner, some leveling thinner. And as you can see, I have a nice little glossy look to it for this, especially here. It's nice and dry, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. But now, with the shine that I gave it, I'm going to apply chrome. I have, I still have enough. And uh, every time I, I'm going to wipe this out a bit to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Then I'm just going to do a light pass first to try to get that little mirror image. enhance this. So when the light hits this, it's nice and shiny. So shiny. Look at that. See, that's nice. That is actually what was under the blue parts that I made that I painted the other day. Let's do this one. Now I've I've I tried this trick before, and many people are now discovering this. I even got a, a, a nice little message on my uh, Instagram page when I was posting this. And, uh, you know, I told them, listen, just look at one of my videos that I did with the um, Master Grade um, Freedom Gundam, where I did this mirror, mirror, mirror quality finish. And you'll see <clears throat> how well it comes out. Um, I could have done, uh, done that, where I can do a mirror finish, where, like, you give it the black primer first, make sure it's nice and glossy. Then use a top coat, a glossy top coat over it or, or you know, some lacquer a clear lacquer paint over it to give it that nicely, uh, you know, that nice reflective look then apply the chrome of it, on it and then do um, the cr uh, top coat again that can be done like that if you wish but I, I decided not to do that This is something that you got to, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy this little moment here of doing this. Um, you know what? I'm going to take it off this so you guys can see it. I don't know if the roof look in this shows, but yeah. Ah. I'm going to top coat that later on. 
let's do this one. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it on this. You know what? And it's not a pain in the ass because I have the camera in a dumb angle, which I didn't realize until now. Let me just put it in a better angle. Slowly but surely. I kind of swore to myself that I was never going to get buy any more chrome because I could have easily used another chrome for this. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I purchased a bottle of the Molotov chrome, which basically you apply it and then boom, it's there. But the reason why I didn't want to do the mirror finish because I didn't do mirror finish on all the other parts. It's nice and it has a candy coated look to it, but not a mirror finish. And to put a mirror finish on this would not be a wise idea. It wouldn't be consistent. Let me buff this a bit. Let's come back here. I'm surprised none of the haters have been hating my videos lately because they I have a lot of people who do not like me doing uh, metallic paint jobs. So I'm, I'm either they're kind of busy with other things or they're, you know, taking care of their families, which is the most important thing they're, you know, they should do, uh, especially in this time of, you know, and what's going on now. Or they're memorized by what I'm doing and seeing, hey, dude, you're doing a good job. Who knows? That came off, but I'll put it back on in a minute. See, that looks nice. There's a little bit of filaments there, but I'm not going to bust my balls for this now. It's overall looks good. All right, I have a lot more to do. Let me freaking finish these up, okay? Okay, so I finished repriming some of the parts, some of the red parts, especially this one, which I did sand down and remove some of the um, little, you know, clumps of primer that was there. And it looks great. I re reprimed it again. And now I'm ready to start painting red. As you can see, some parts were painted red. But one thing I was a bit nervous to do was painting the wing. And I did, was going to do, I'm gonna, I wanted to do on camera the wing, but I said to myself, let me do one of them to see how it comes out. Because the one thing about when you paint red is getting a consistency on the entire part. And I didn't want to do it and then it turns out bad because when you paint red, you end up accidentally painting an area that may get oversaturated. As you can see, this one came out nice. Came out really, really nice. Especially since I resanded it down again, uh, the primer that was on. However, I am not going to do it again on camera with the other one. I'd rather do these two. So let's begin. I'm just going to do a light pass first. I'll do a second pass in a moment. The last time I painted a large area of red, and I think it was the wings of the, what do you call it? The Epion. And many large parts of the of the, what do you call it, the Aegis. Master grade, that is. But I think the one most notable kit that I remember that I painted a lot of red, and it was actually technically not red, it was more like 
metallic setup at the time. You see, this is metallic red, which I'm going to layer it down a bit here and there. But back in the day, when I first started, oops, that. Prime Nutty 2 did a, a neat little technique where she painted the under, painted apart chrome using Tamiya chrome and using clear colors, clear like clear blue, clear green, clear red, she made a, you know, a suit, uh, an, an interesting way of making metallic. And this was at a time where I was like really, really interested in doing that. And I took it, and I did that on my um, Master Grade Destiny. But it, I kind of messed it up. Uh, it was not completely perfect. And I kind of learned some bitter lessons on that day. I'm not doing it, I'm not going to learn it here for them. I'm, I'm learning from these lessons. Am I saying that correctly? I guess not. <laughs> but right now, I want to make sure it's a nice, evenly consistent coat. Oh, and of course, the paint dried out. There we go. And right now, I'm going to take the other red, put it next to it to make sure it's, it's consistent. And yeah, it does. The lighting is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's good. Alright, so let me fill up the reservoir because I have two more parts of red to do. I don't have to worry about these guys because they're going to be covered up by the, um, by the gold, which I did. And uh, I would say that once these parts are done, I will do a final review of what we got. So these are the last colors, last parts to paint. Let me finish them up. Oh, that's right. I was thinking of doing the two-tone. Give me some time. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do a video of me doing the two-tone. If I'll do it, I'll do it. But I'll show it off on, um, on the final review. Okay? So, give me some time to work with it.